Hello everyone. <laughs> How y'all doing out there? I hope y'all doing good. You know, staying safe and staying alive. So just came from the gym, man, and I thought, you know, this would be the perfect time to address this thing. I don't even know what, what exactly to call it, because it was a big deal and understandably so. Like I understand why it was a big deal and it became a meme. So what I'm realizing now is that once something becomes a meme, that's when it's official. <laughs> like that's when it's officially a big deal, okay? So my question to y'all out there, right, is have y'all ever woken up to 15 roaches on your face? <laughs> and I asked that question for a reason. Now, I asked that question and you should already know where I'm heading with this, right? So apparently, Diddy or P. Diddy or however you want to refer to him says that he woke up to 15 roaches on his face and that's what made him start grinding and start motive like motive that's what motivated him to become you know P. Diddy to become what he is now. Right, so apparently yeah, apparently that's what motivated P. Diddy to become you know, P. Diddy. That's what motivated, you know what? That's what motivated Sean Combs to become P. Diddy. And I'm like, you know what, man? I love it. But here's what I wanted to say about that, though, first of all. And no, no, no. Actually, I'm going to insert the clip for y'all to see, okay? Him, um, let me just, let, let me show y'all the clip. Be whoever you want, you can be eating mango, too, with the ocean as your backdrop. I ain't special. I just want it. I want it bad. Feel me? I'm not going to allow myself to not have mango. So I hustle hard, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I'm doing my way. No, nah, baby. <laughs> you yeah, I see that, right? Now, I just thought it was funny because I'm like, okay, he's, I feel like he's not like the, the best motivational speaker, like how I would say um, Jay-Z and um, kind, um, Jay-Z and 50 Cent are and others, you know, but to each his own, you know, different strokes for different folks and whatnot. And him eating that mango and jumping into that pool, that, that damn near mini ocean type shit in his backyard or whatever, that should motivate you. And I see why something like that would motivate someone. Now I have to think to myself, okay, y'all could be eating mangoes too. <laughs> like he said. But nah, I'm not even I'm not even on that. It's the 15 roaches part. It's the 15 roaches aspect. Cause I have to think to myself, like, okay, why did that become the biggest news out of his whole like whatever you want to call a motivational spiel. I don't know how else to refer to it because it wasn't a speech. It wasn't nothing like that, but whatever you want to call it. Why did the 15 roaches aspect become the meme? Why did that become what everyone is talking about? I, I should say, I, I, I had to think about that because it's like, yo, that should be the least important thing about it. The 15 roaches, yes, I understand. It's funny, it's unrealistic. It's probably not even true. But either way, it should be the least important. 15 roaches, okay, whatever. That I think what should be taken out of that is he grew up where roaches were was so prevalent in his house. That's what I think should be the main thing. But I have to think to myself, okay, just, just follow me now on this one, okay? Maybe he saw three roaches on his bed, right? And then he got up and maybe he saw like three more on the wall, like right next to him. Now, maybe he went to the bathroom and then he saw three more, okay? And then maybe like as he was walking out, he, he went to the kitchen or something, he saw three more. And then maybe like as he was leaving the, the house for the day or something like that, he saw three more. That's 15 because I don't understand how he could say 15 roaches on his face. Now, I I will admit, I did not take it literally. All I thought about it, what I took out of it was he grew up where roaches was prevalent in his house. 
that's how, what I took out of it. Now, maybe some people did take it literally because I guess some people was upset. Some people was saying he's lying. They calling him out. Well, I'm like, okay, what the? Like, like I said, that should be the least important thing about it. What you should take out of it is he grew up with roaches and probably rats and all other kind of shit that you would be embarrassed to tell other people about. He grew up where that was prevalent and that motivated him motivated him to become is he a billionaire whatever whatever he is multi-millionaire that's what motivated him and that's what more i feel like more people should be focusing on it's that one thing right for some people it takes like one embarrassing ass situation for them to be like nah you know what i'm not living the rest of my life like this for some people it could be the fact that you have like five other siblings in a one bedroom apartment it could be something like that that's embarrassing to where to the point to where you could never bring somebody over you don't have your own room you don't have your own space you don't have your own privacy it could take something like that now on the, that's on the one hand on the other hand some people that wouldn't motivate them they probably wouldn't even care They'll probably use every excuse in the book. Oh, the system is against me. It's not made for black people to succeed and whatnot, which I we you know, don't agree to disagree on that. But that's, I'm not even getting into that. I'm just saying for some people that would motivate them. For others, it would be like, uh, well, OK, I'm going to just raise my kids in this same poverty stricken situation. You know what I mean? It's the two sides of this shit because you could motivate some people and some people it's just you you, you talking you it's falling on deaf ears like the I'm, I'm trying to think like the people that made the 15 roaches aspect the biggest deal about his whole motivational thing they're the ones who they they probably weren't motivated by what he said because like i said that honestly should be the least important thing that should be the last thing anyone is focusing on now I will admit though, <laughs> I, I, I will admit, 15 roaches, definitely an exaggeration. I'm like, 15 bro, you could at least say three, four, maybe. Uh, Cause I'm like 15, you gotta be, ugh, get off of me. <laughs> you gotta be doing that and shit, dusting roaches off of yourself and whatnot. But I didn't, I, I wasn't even trying to get into that. That's just something I thought of immediately after I saw he said he got, he had roaches on his face or whatever. He probably, it, uh, I'm, not even, I'm not even getting more into that. My whole thing is the motivation behind it. Because what I start to like and love actually is the fact that like in rap music nowadays, the struggle of like the, the rappers that's preaching about coming from the struggle to where they are now, I love that that's becoming more mainstream. I love that. Really and truly, I love that about rap music nowadays because that's another thing I started to realize. Like, sometimes it takes you seeing other people come from the same bullshit struggles that you had to go through to make it to where they are now, to where you feel like you could then do that, right? That's what it takes sometimes. I'm not going for it. I, I like that. <laughs> I like to know that. This billionaire grew up in the same neighborhood as me. Or some or something along those lines. You know what I mean? Or this millionaire went to the same high school I went to. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, uh, you know, just a little sidebar. What's his name? Joey Badass. We went to the same high school. I didn't know him, he didn't know me, but that's beside the point. We just the fact that I know we went to the same high school, that says something. And it's them little, it's them little things that should motivate you. Like you should see Diddy eating that damn mango, looking out of shape and <laughs> whatnot, with a damn near ocean in his backyard. Woo! Sorry, this man. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep my cool, man. But you see, they wilding. But besides that, though, I'm just saying, it should take something. To motivate you to be like you know what man i'm not dealing with this no more i'm not because for some people it wouldn't motivate them they would just use every other excuse as to why they can't do it 
Nah, fuck that. You could do that shit. Now, I will admit that's a mindset a lot of people have. Like, oh, just because he did it don't mean I could do it. Nah, it's possible. It's possible. You just got to believe in yourself. That's the main thing. That's what I'm starting to realize on this YouTube journey. You know, subscribe for more. You know, su subscribe to become a part of the journey. You got to believe in yourself. I think that's first and foremost. Before patience, before delayed gratification, before all of that other stuff, which is just as important, you have to believe in yourself. Because what I started to realize, I'm sorry for rambling and going off on a tangent. When you, like, for example, YouTube, right? If you're going to be that YouTuber that's on the camera, like you're showing your face, you're showing yourself, depending on your audience, they could tell if you don't believe in yourself. They could tell when you faking for the, for the camera or something like that. They could tell. Now, I'm not going for you could be nervous. You could be, you know, anxious and whatnot, but people could tell when you just faking it. People could tell when you, you're not authentic. You know what I'm saying? That's where it becomes a problem. That's where it becomes an issue. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, <laughs> I'm trying not to be upset with what's going on in front of me right now, but okay. But yeah, seriously, like I said, the least important thing about what Diddy said was the roaches, okay? That should be the least important thing on anyone's mind. The most important thing is it took that one embarrassing ass thing for Sean Combs to become P. Diddy. Let me know down in the comment section what would that one embarrassing thing be for you? Like, what would that one thing that's like, you know what? I'm not living like this the rest of my life. I'm not raising my kids like this. What would it take for you to become your next um, level? What would it take for you to be to level up? Let me know down in the comment section. I already know, and that's why I'm on that journey right now. Subscribe to become a part of the journey, man. And like I said, leave that comment down below. Let me know what y'all think. Thank you. I'm over there. It's coming soon.